are you abiding in the Lord? Are you clinging to his word? Because go back in John 8 and don't miss this. Again, everything up to this moment, they've said, sounds good. I'm following. Still sounds good. I'm in. But look at verse 37. Jesus said, I know you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me, yet you oppose me. You, you are now coming against me. Why? Because my word finds no place in you. Is God's word finding a place in you? If Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, if he is the light of life, if he is the word of made flesh is Jesus finding a place with you are you abiding in him because friends the more that we abide in him the more that we know him and the more that we know him the more we treasure him and the more we treasure him the more we find ourselves longing to obey him and the more that we find ourselves there the more it is that we hunger and thirst to walk in the truth. Jesus says, if you come after me, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. True freedom is found in walking in and building your life upon the word of God. Mm -hmm.